fascinating. Okay, I want to do a, um, that was a Spock reference, in case you didn't know. <laughs> the geek in me, Star Trek. Hey, I want to do something kind of, I think it's cool. I, I'm gonna, we're going to do an ex exploration here. Um, we're going to see what happened. I'm going to show you this. So this is, let me back up. So I've been trying to cast a, an aluminum bron bronze hammerhead and having a myriad of problems, all self-induced, no question, all self-induced. And this was a feeder tube that I had coming in and then a gate coming over to the part. And I want you to notice the right angle here. It's going to be important. This feeder tube did not work. This feeder tube remained nice and nice and full up on top. Um, I had another feeder tube which was larger, which did work. Shrunk way down. Shrunk way down into here. Um, this one didn't shrink at all. In fact, let's see if you can. I don't know if you can see this. Not going to focus for me. There it is. Um, a little hole right there. Well, that is the beginning of a void that formed going this direction into the part. But I want you to see this too. Let's see. I get enough light on it there. Can you see? There they are. Perfect. You see those holes right there? Those are what I believe, I believe those are called hot spot shrinkage. And the idea here is that um, I got hot metal coming down here, I got hot metal coming across here, and I've got a corner of, of sand right there that's being heated both this direction and this direction. So that sand gets hotter than other sand around it because the other sand has basically one side that's being heated versus two sides being heated. And what happens when you do that is that um, that metal right there doesn't cool down as quickly as the metal around it. And so this is metal is staying hot. Now this feeder, because it was, I guess because it was too small, it started to solidify. It didn't actually stay cool. It didn't stay molten because there's no shrinkage here. Uh, it solidified, but yet this, because it was next to that one called superheated sand, it's probably a misnomer, don't yell at me, but that hot sand kept that spot hotter than uh, the rest of this, the rest of this um, bronze. So what I want to do is I want to cut into this hole here, we're going we're to just kind of slice it right along here, I just want to see what happens, so we can see how, uh, uh, yeah, see what, how big a deal this was. Okay, well, I'm always so happy when I'm not disappointed. <laughs> Maybe that's the definition of happy. Anyway, I cut, so there's this part, right? And right here is where I um, had that hole in the front. So I cut it off. Awesome cut job, huh? <laughs> it's harder than, it was harder than it looked. Hard. Anyway, void forms. I can run some water through this, and I probably will. It may go all the way, this may go all the way through, but back into the feeder tube, I have another void. I mean, another half of it, right? And this one goes in, I mean, it goes in that far. It's a good, uh, that's probably almost, I don't know, 30 centimeters, 30 millimeters? So that's pretty, it goes in there pretty good. So. I believe that this is an example of what of what we talked about at the very beginning here. This hot spot shrinkage. You can see, in fact, let me just show you this. See there, you see that? Yeah. Right there is that where the hole was going in the out to the surface. And you can see it runs right down into this, this tube here. This metal in the corner stayed really hot. It started to shrink inside here as this started to cool and what did it do? It drew, it shrunk down and it drew it in through that through that opening there. It pulled it, it pulled that molten metal back inside and then we got this opening to the to the um, thing. So can't blow through it. Doesn't go all the way through I guess. <laughs> 
Anyway, that was it. I just wanted to show you that because I thought this was pretty cool. I uh, wanted to talk a little bit. I'm going to talk about it in my next video when I actually do the hammer casting again. Um, and you guys sound funny with those things in. <laughs> I'm going to talk about this shape here um, some more, but I'll talk about it right now too. This is upside down. This right here is not going to be a good shape. We're casting something as hot as aluminum bronze. So uh, we're going. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to curve this out so that so that the sand doesn't have hot on all on two sides of it or three or whatever. Right? We want to smooth it out. We'll get. So when we cut this, we're going to we're going to have a radius this here to give us a nice gentle uh, transition from the feeder to the gate. Um, and that'll be one of the things that we try to do to fix this hammerhead thing. So anyway, bonus video. You guys have a great day.